Hmm. Where in this blasted shopping centre did I park my car? It's not over here. It's not over there. It's not bloody anywhere. Where the heck am I? Throughout the development of Subpods, several nodes have been created to provide a calibrated and easy to configure device for anyone wanting to enable positioning indoors. Current testing from these nodes has shown positioning accuracy results of up to plus or minus half a meter. Ah, cars over there. The Subpos node transmits its program location to a client device through beacon stuffing. With this information, you can trilateral your position from one or more nodes within a building. Using the Subpos API, or the yet-to-be-released Subpos receiver, a developer can easily obtain positioning information on any device with Wi-Fi. Here is the original Subpos node prototype. It was used for testing the connection to the ESP8266 module, or functional, it was quite rudimentary and only enabled verification of the subpost concept. This is a revision 1 node, originally designed for development in mind. It enables additional features like easy to use serial configuration interface, frequency hopping and accurate beacon timing. We are currently on the revision 2 node, a slight improvement on revision 1. It changes to a more streamlined breakout and has better input voltage protection. Let's take a look at it. When the node starts up, it initializes the ESP module. Once the red LED switches off, client devices are ready to start getting their position. Here you can see the easy to use serial communications interface and the device as it boots. This help menu shows the available functions. To configure via this interface, just type the function name and hit enter. If you make a mistake, you can also correct it. Any changes you make will take place instantly. One of the main features of this revision is the ability to use frequency hopping. This gives you an effective spread spectrum bandwidth of 80 MHz. This increases the accuracy on client devices when you use the averaging functions within the API, especially in congested areas. At the moment, the API uses a modified medium filter and averaging function to determine the distance from a node, which is then used with the coder position for trilateration. You can see here the device hopping between different frequencies. The device also supports saving configuration to EEPROM. When you make changes that require saving, the interface will show a small asterisk. The node also includes a simple wizard interface to allow you to easily configure the node positioning information. Once set, it codes the information into the SSID and is instantly transmitted and visible on any listening client devices. As you can see, since we saved our settings to EEPROM, on reboot the device retains its configuration. Currently in development is revision 3 of the node. It will introduce extra features like increased Wi-Fi security, a micro USB power and configuration interface. It will also be user upgradable and have improved power efficiency.